Hello, my name is Stephen Owen from Buy2Aradios.com. I am the IT RF technician, and I mainly do the radio programming here. We've had issues with the TYT MD390 Plus in particular, where the computer wasn't recognizing the radio. The main issue for this was having the radio turned on when you plugged it in. But to cover all the bases, we're going to go over everything and how this works. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to Buy2Aradios.com and absolutely make sure that we had the correct programming software, version 2.34, as well as a cable driver. And you're going to want to install the software first. And once that's installed in the default location, go ahead and install the USB cable driver. And when the USB cable driver is installed, go ahead and plug your radio into your computer, turn it on. Then you're going to go to the device manager. Go ahead and search your Windows bar for device manager. It should be the first one that pops up. After you find that, go to USB devices. There should be a USB device that's currently unrecognized with a bad driver. When you see that, go ahead and click on it. And there'll be two options. There'll be search Windows for a driver or search your home computer. What you want to do is search your home computer. And then change the directory to where it's searching your downloads folder. And when it's searching your downloads folder, once it's selected there, press OK. And it should automatically find the cable driver you just downloaded. And once that's set up, you're going to want to open up your MD390 software. You're going to get your radio. Ensure that it's in the off position, and when your radio is fully turned off, plug your cable into any USB port in your computer. All right, right now it's currently plugged in the back of my computer. I'm going to plug it in the radio, fully seated, right? Sometimes the top here, it might not be plugged in all the way. It'll be like this. It might look plugged in, but it won't be. Make sure it's fully seated and plugged in. And then you're going to turn the radio on, and then Either write your code plug, but I recommend when you're writing a code plug, you always read your radio first, because sometimes the version mismatch is uh, an issue. You write your whole code plug, and then the uh, next thing you know, you write for the wrong radio. So my recommendation is always read your radio first, and then write your code plug. And as you can see, we're fully connected. We're reading the radio right now. If any more questions, go ahead and contact us at buy 2 Again, my name is Steven. Thanks for watching.